What's cracking, everybody? It's me, Scuba Steve with Kraken Aquatics, and today we're going to teach you how to clean and maintain the three variants of snorkels that Kraken Aquatics offers. Stay tuned. So you may think, my snorkel gets in the water, therefore it's clean enough, right? Eh, super wrong. Your snorkel can actually have a bunch of bacteria in the mouthpiece, in the purge valve, in every facet of the snorkel itself, not just in the tube, although that's a big spot as well. When you go into salt water, when you go into chlorine or fresh water, you're going to have bacteria wherever you go. So it's wise to not just clean your dive mask, but your snorkel as well. In fact, I personally recommend that you put more emphasis on cleaning and maintaining the snorkel because that's what you breathe through, that's what goes inside of your mouth and possibly into your lungs. So today we're going to tackle how to clean and maintain the three variants of Kraken Aquatics snorkels. We're going to look at the collapsible silicone snorkel, the swimmer snorkel, and the dry snorkel. So come with me to my kitchen sink and let's get started. All right, so we're in the kitchen today and we're gonna show you how to clean and maintain the snorkels. But before we start that, I wanted to let you know that there are three different methods in which you can use to clean your snorkels. Uh, there's the bleach and water method, the dish detergent and water method, and finally the vinegar and water method. Now, although all of these work very well, uh, today we're gonna focus on the dish detergent and water method. So, what do you need for the dish detergent and the water method? Well, it's kind of in the name. You need a dish detergent, you need water. Now, a lot of people will use five gallon buckets, but if you wanna do it in your house, that's perfectly fine. Use the kitchen sink or bathroom sink. You can even use your bathtub. As long as you can mix up to four tablespoons of soap inside of water and then submerge your snorkel, you'll be good to go. Also, you can use some tools such as a baby bottle cleaner that has a little retractable uh, cleaning brush inside. And you may be wondering, why do you have a spoon in your hand? I actually use this to clean my snorkels. This is just personal preference. Sometimes I will wrap a little microfiber piece of towel around it, or I'll just push some paper towel through the snorkel. Because if you wanna get inside of the snorkel tube, sometimes these brushes are too thick, and so you have to make do with what you have. So some people may have a large spoon, and that's probably what I'm gonna to use today. But let's go ahead and get started with the dish detergent and the water method. Okay, everybody, so we're at our sink now. We've stopped the left side up with warm to hot water. We've eyeballed uh, three to four tablespoons of our dish detergent. And now it's time for the cleaning process. So as we said at the beginning, we will start with our collapsible silicone snorkel. So what we're gonna do is we're first gonna submerge this into the warm, soapy water. You wanna make sure that you get everything soaked good inside and out. Now, if you wanna get really detailed, you can always take as many pieces off as you're comfortable with doing, whether it's purge valves on, on these right here or simply just the mouthpiece. And, and I would recommend that if you're comfortable with being able to put everything back together. So with the collapsible snorkel, it's really on only two pieces. So you take off the mouth guard and you can let that soak uh, while you're working on one or the other. So you can let one piece soak while you're cleaning. And so here, uh, we're gonna use this brush so you can clean the outside really good. That gets all, all the sand or dirt. And you wanna clean inside every piece that you can with this warm soap water. So now you can clean the tube out to show you the the way I do it because if you look here you can't actually fit this all the way inside uh, without risking damaging any of the silicone body so I'm gonna take this spoon anything you have with a long handle you can use pipe cleaners you can use wire hangers whatever you have so I'm actually gonna get that a little wet and then I'm gonna take this paper towel fold it like this wrap it around it and then you want to get the paper towel wet you can smash it like that and I know that looks silly but it gets the job done so you want to straighten this up as much as you can so I actually had too much so you can just half that throw that to the side and repeat the same step
there we go and just kind of clean the tube out now you can go as far as you can there and then come in on the other side and you may lose the paper that is okay just push it out to the end and you'll be good to go so this side is good I'm gonna set this to the right side of the sink and I'm gonna come back to it in just a moment now let's focus on the mouthpiece so you want to make sure you get all around your the mouthpiece now with this you can go inside because it's it's a more bendable material all right so the collapsible snorkel is complete as far as the washing process goes now what do you do well now you want to come over to the right side of the sink or if you're transferring from one bucket to another bucket as long as it's fresh water it's okay do not ever clean it uh, in you know your chlorinated pool water or salt water you want to transfer it from those types of waters into a clean fresh soapy water and then be able to rinse it off so we're going to rinse this off thoroughly right now Once you've got this rinsed off, leave it separated. And then what I'm going to do just for the sake of this video, I'm actually gonna use my dish drain, place it here where I would normally put my dishes to let them dry uh, because I want it to air dry. I do not want to contaminate it with any other, you know, a uh, microfiber towel or any type of towel. I want to air dry it. So now that we've got that one done, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our next one. The next one is going to be the swimmer snorkel. So the swimmer snorkel has a few more pieces than the snorkel we just washed. We have the tube, we have the mouth guard and this whole setup, and we've actually got the purge valve right here. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna show you for the sake of this video how to remove the purge valve to clean its entirety right here. So first, we're gonna pop off the body, the tube, from the mouth guard and go ahead and let that be submerged now you're left with this piece and the, the purge valve now if it's if you can just maybe eyeball inspect it you may not have to clean you may not have to pop it out if you're not comfortable doing that I understand there's smaller pieces with this little silicone valve inside but for the sake of this video I'm going to show you how to do it so that you'll know how if something happens now I want to give you a word of caution when you're washing any type of purge valve because of the thin piece of silicone inside you do stand the chance of puncturing it or damaging it in some way if you're using a brush or any type of utensil so be very careful with that so you're going to get a handle on this to where you can pop it out and it, it is a little more difficult when you have wet hands but you can just pop this out like so there's no glue or adhesive pop you know holding it on holding it in place so there's that piece now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the mouthpiece into the water to let it soak and I want to pay attention to the purge valve really quick now there's only two pieces to this that we're gonna focus on the housing which is this blue piece and then you've got your the the valve inside which is just a little rubber disc now it's going to be easy to pop this out for some people it's difficult to put it back in but I'm gonna show you actually using this tool right here how to get it out and to get it in so let's say you need to clean your purge valve how do we clean this like so get inside here pop it out grab it and pull and it's it's that simple but again be very gentle because this is a delicate piece of silicone you don't want to rip it unless you have replacement parts which you can find on crackingaquatics.com should you need them so You've got those two pieces. Now, because this is soapy water, I don't wanna lose this, so I'm actually gonna set this to the side and clean it on its own. We can throw this in there if we'd like. Now, let's go ahead and repeat the same process that we did with our other snorkel in cleaning. So, we'll start with this one, cleaning the outside. You can get the threads there. You wanna take this, again, you can use a thin piece of paper towel. And again, this is my method. You don't have to use this method, but it works. So you go in halfway, clean it that way, make sure you clean it very well, and then you can turn it around 
and do the same. All right, so once you've done that, go ahead and set it back in there. And give it just a soap rinse off and you're gonna put it to the side. Now we're gonna focus on the mouthpiece. And again, because this is a more stretchy material, you are able usually to use all of the head of the baby bottle brushes if that's what you choose to use. All right, so that's good. So we're gonna let that sit. And now we're going to fish for the purge valve housing. So you can just kind of wash it in your hand like so. And again, this is not something you have to do all the time, but you do want to make it a habit because that's what catches a lot of the debris and things. The you know mold, mildew, bacteria, it, it, it loves to sit here if you have wet snorkels thrown into your bag, thrown into your home, and, and then you forget about it. Eventually, you will start breathing in bacteria, which can lead to a lot of health concerns. And so that's ready. But because that's a sink, you want to be very careful. I'm actually going to just set it right there. And then we have this piece of the purge valve, which is the silicone. And we're gonna inspect it, make sure there's no tears. If there is, do not use it. If, if any of this body has been compromised, you need to discard it in the trash can and replace it with another piece. So we're gonna carefully rub the silicone body here. Hold on tight to it. Give it a little wash through right there and it's good to go. Now, what do we do next? We rinse off the same way. So we're gonna rinse off. Okay, so we've just rinsed off our swimmer snorkel. We're gonna let that sit and air dry and we'll come back and I will show you how to reattach all of the pieces to the body. And we'll now move on to our dry snorkel. Now, there are several more pieces to this dry snorkel than there are the previous two snorkel bodies. But I'm gonna show you really quick. This one has a clip for a quick detach. You can leave it on uh, because, I say that because you can pull it down to wash and pull it up. If you want to remove it, you're more than welcome. It's just a clip. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it on because we have multiple pieces that we have to account for. Now, we have the tube, we have the silicone tube, and we have the, have the purge valve area here, and we've got the mouthpiece. We're not gonna worry about this top piece. We're gonna focus on all of this. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take it apart, and it, and I will say it gets more difficult if you have wet hands to take this apart, but so we've got that together. You can hear that. We're gonna let that soak in there. So we've got three pieces remaining. We're gonna take this off here. So we've got the silicone body. It's gonna go inside. We've got the mouthpiece that we're gonna pop off now. like so, and inside here is the purge valve. We are just gonna let this soak here, and that's another thing you can do with the other two methods. If you're using bleach and water, you do the same type of thing. A lot of times they will say when you use bleach and water, instead of scrubbing all of the areas, because bleach will kill all of the bacteria, 99% of it, at least that's what they claim, then you just submerge and soak all your pieces for 30 minutes and then rinse and air dry. Now, with what we're doing today, this is the dis detergent water method. It is identical if you're using the vinegar and water method. You take all your pieces apart, submerge in warm to hot water with the solution that you're using, whether it's dish soap or vinegar. You rub, you scrub everything, you rinse it off, and you air dry. So the dish detergent and the vinegar methods are basically the same thing, just using two different options. Now, let's get into the cleaning portion of this. You can get inside with these bristles, rinse it off really well while you're doing it. Now, again, clean off the body of the tube. Set 
same. Remove that. So now the body has been washed. Get on to the next piece, whichever you pick up is fine. I got the mouthpiece. Get inside that really well because hey, it goes in your mouth. You want it to be as clean as possible. That can go in there. You've got the other piece of the silicone body. And then you have the purge area. Now, I'm gonna use this little piece, this bristly peat part of the brush, because it will reach all the way in. When you go inside of these holes, you wanna be very careful that you don't go so hard that you pierce your purge valve. You wanna be very careful with that. But I like these types of baby bottle brushes because they will go inside and clean all of these little cracks and crevices here without damaging anything if you're careful, okay? So from my eyeballs, I can see that everything inside of there has been cleaned. I know that's kind of difficult to see on camera, but I'm gonna give it another underwater rinsing right there. Now, before you enter your drain, make sure that you fish through and feel if there's any missing snorkel pieces because you do not wanna lose any of the silicone pieces down the drain, that would just be the worst. So I've already checked it, so I'm gonna go ahead and release the water. Final step, once again, we will rinse off all of the body parts of the dry snorkel. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait until all of this air dries. And before we close out this video, we will make sure to show you how to reassemble your Kraken Aquatic snorkels. Okay, so now that we've let some time pass, all of our parts to the snorkels are dry. We're gonna go ahead and show you now how to reassemble your Kraken Aquatics snorkel. So we'll start with the collapsible snorkel first. Remember, you only had two pieces to this snorkel. So what you're gonna do is you're simply just gonna reattach and I like to go uh, put this toward the back first to kind of pinch it in, push it, and you just kind of, and you want to just work it onto the rubber threads until you see the seam has completely came back together. So there's that piece. This is just the clip that goes around your dive mask. It doesn't matter where it's at until you put it on your mask and your person. So there's the collapsible silicone snorkel from Kraken Aquatics. It's dry, it's ready to use. Let's move on to the swimmer snorkel. So with the swimmer snorkel, we had the tube, this the purge holding system with the mouthpiece and we have the purge valve on the side. Before we attach the mouthpiece back to the body, I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna set this down and show you how to put these two pieces back together to form your purge valve correctly. Now, this is the inside of the purge valve housing. This is the silicone base that will go inside. Now, you want this little tail poking out the bottom. So how do we do that when there's that little pe that little plastic beam right there? Well, you may have your way, and I'm gonna show you what I do after using this brush. I'm gonna use this to help me get it back on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn this over so you can see when it starts to puncture through again. Bend this in half, and I'm gonna work that back into the hole. But here it just comes to a fishing. So you see how it starts to pop through a little bit? I'm gonna grab that with this hand. So now I've got it. And now I'm just gonna take this and carefully fish it through so you do not break or puncture any of the silicone body right there of the purge valve. Now, it's almost all the way through. You wanna keep getting it 
and it just popped in place. It only takes a few moments, especially if you're used to it. There's the purge valve. So now we're gonna take this part of our mouthpiece and we're gonna reinsert the purge valve. And just like that, it's back in place. You wanna make sure that you've got it in the right area. So make sure that you're getting the lip of the silicone back in the proper place to hold it. And there we go. So now we just simply put this back on the tube or I call it the body of the snorkel. Again, it could be a little tedious process at, at times, but that's okay. At least you know you know how to take apart and, and put together again your snorkel and it's clean. So there's the swimmer snorkel. It's all put together. Uh, it's ready to be used or store in a proper place until it's time to be used. So let's set this to the side and we'll do the dry snorkel. So we'll start from bottom to top. We will put our mouthpiece back onto the body that houses the purge valve. Pretty simple, right? Next, we will take the silicone portion of our body here and it will go back on like so. Make sure it's good and in place like that. Finally, we will reattach all of this to the body or the tube of the snorkel. And voila, we have completed all three variants of the Kraken Aquatics snorkels, the, the cleaning and the maintenance of, um, of the snorkels without messing up the integrity of the purge valves. We've done it carefully and now you are ready to store them in a dry place until your next dive or snorkel adventure. Let's go back to the studio. Well, that wraps up this video for cleaning the Kraken Aquatic snorkels, whichever variant you may have. Whether it's the collapsible silicone snorkel, the swimmer snorkel, or dry snorkel. Again, we do this cleaning and maintaining so that we can protect not just the longevity of the snorkel itself with so that it won't deteriorate over time, you want to make sure it's good and clean, but also, and more importantly, your health and well-being. Listen, make sure you clean that. That's what goes inside of your mouth and ultimately into your body into your lungs if you're not careful. So let's not breathe in bacteria, mold, mildew, and other uh, parasites of thing or things. When you get out of the water and you put your gear away, hopefully you're doing the same type of cleaning processes from top to bottom, whether you're snorkeling and you, all you have are fins, dive mask, snorkel, clean them appropriately. Hopefully those tips helped you with cleaning and maintaining your snorkels. If you found this video helpful, like always, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time Kraken Aquatics posts another video, and do all the social media jazz, like, share, comment, you get the gist. All right, I'm Scuba Steve with Kraken Aquatics. We'll catch you next time.